Today, we're talking about five features of OnlyOffice that makes the transition from Microsoft Office that much easier. Let's get into it. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Adrian Reddix, and today we're talking about five features that make the transition from Microsoft to OnlyOffice that much easier. If you don't know what OnlyOffice is, OnlyOffice is a open source office suite that has a lot of the features that Microsoft Office has. But unlike Microsoft Office, it's a free to use software. The first thing, the first thing is the ability to quickly change between apps, which doesn't sound like it's a big issue, but when you do a lot of different processes in different apps, it helps with workflow. That's an extra step that you don't have to go through. So if you go to the top where it says only office, click on that. You can go and pick, let's say the text document, click on the text document, the word editor. And now you have the word app. Let's say you typed all you need to type, but now you need a spreadsheet. Instead of having to go into the start menu and scroll down and then click on it, you just go right back to the only office window or only office tab and click on it quick and simple and with uh, two or three less steps. And now your spreadsheet is right there. The next one, the next one is the ability to password protect your documents. So if you go to the ribbon on top, you'll see where it says protection. Click on that and then you'll see a little like padlock that says encrypt. Click on that, type in whatever password you want to use for your document and bam, it's protected. So if somebody comes behind you or whatever, they have to have the password to get in there. Now, if you're going to send this document email, um, just a word of advice, cybersecurity wise, if you're sending a document, one, don't ever send the document and the password in the same email. It's just good cybersecurity practice. Two, I would send it in a different form or a different transmission type. So if I'm gonna send document email wise, I would send the password maybe, I, I don't know, you can text it to somebody, you can call them on the phone and give it to them. You can do something else to make it that much harder to do that, or you can, <laughs> if you want to get advanced, encrypt the password with the person's public key. Well, that's that's getting into too much. Never send the password and the document in the same transmission form. Three, if you need an Office product on the go, they have a very robust mobile app. So they have it for iOS and Android, and both experiences are really good. If you look at my iPhone right now. You'll see that uh, as far as it being able to be a competent text editor, it is. You can change your font, you can change the color, you can change how it's stylized, you can do all that on the go. The same with the spreadsheets. You can do all your spreadsheet functions as far as sum and min and count and all those different functions that you do with spreadsheets. The only difference between the iOS and the Android is the Android when it comes to font selection doesn't show you what font you're choosing as far as all the fonts are the same and to see which one's different you have to actually click on it. In the iOS version uh, the fonts are right there in the list on how they look. So that's a big difference between those two. But as far as having something on the go and having something that is reliable and that is quick and easy and simple, you can't get any better than only office on mobile. If you have a iPad or a tablet, you have so much real estate that you can do whatever you need to do and not be constrained to a smaller screen. So if you want it on your iPad or your tablet, um, then it's a fantastic choice for, for a intermediate between your phone and your computer. Four is the ability to open MS Office files, which there's a lot of them out there that can do it. Woo woo. But the big thing is that as far as formatting and not losing formatting, this is where only Office really shines over things like LibreOffice because a lot of times it's uh, different fonts and the, and the way that a Office Suite formats a document that causes it to break and it causes it not to work as smoothly as it should. Only Office, from my testing and my experience, 98, 99% of the time has no problem opening an MS Office file. 
usually when you get into um, four man issues, it's like some rare, rare like table things. It's a very rare instance that only Office can open up a MS Office file and have issues as far as formatting and it not working. So that's a key feature that um, no matter if you are, let's say you're at home and you're working from home and you don't want to pay the astronomical price on Microsoft Office 365. You can have only Office and you can communicate with a organization or a person who uses uh, Microsoft Office and them not being able to know the difference. You can save files that they can open and you can open files that they send to you. And number five, number five, the biggest feature that can help with the transition from Microsoft Office to only Office is gonna be the aesthetics, the way it looks and the way it functions, right? So the way it looks and the way it functions, if you put them side by side, they look very similar. Only Office isn't copying Microsoft Office, but they're as close as you can get to the point where it's like, eh, you know, that's, that, that's pretty close. And the reason why that's important is, so when you have a product that closely looks like its competitor as far as transition, it, it makes people more comfortable with using the product. Even though other office suites like LibreOffice and a couple other have a has a user interface that closely mimics MS Office and it improves the UI on those products, to me, the best one to do it is only off without you having to touch it. As far as workflow, you don't have to add another process or another way you do things, right? Even though it's not exactly like Microsoft Office, as far as you learning and keeping up with how you do things, it's very similar. But having only Office look close to Microsoft Office, people who really don't like change or are afraid of making that jump because they, they don't know something. It, it, it makes the, the barrier to overcome learning something that much shorter and that much quicker. That's it. Hopefully you like these five features that I appreciate about Only Office when you're trying to transition from Microsoft Office to Only Office. If you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this type of video, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why you didn't like this type of video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.